Yo, what's up guys, it's Tater here. Welcome back to our New Jersey Devils franchise mode, episode number five. Here we are starting off season number two. And I'm not too sure how far we're going to go into the season, but we've turned injuries off for regular season. We'll turn them back on for off season. And they've updated franchise mode, so we'll see how that goes. I haven't touched franchise mode in a little bit. It's just been a little chaotic week. But I'm going to try and get a few videos out for you guys in the next couple days. Uh, so let's just go ahead and we'll we'll do a slow sim of the Vancouver Canucks game here. We... Oh, I forgot. I sent Scout or uh contracts out for bully coach and assistant coach so we're up to nothing to start the year three nothing or three and oh sorry lose against montreal 2-1 we got toronto here I lose 4-2 and we got a few days off to recover so i'm not too sure what to expect we'll quickly view the draft class uh, they've updated the Scouting, I don't think I sent my scouts out, so I will be back in one minute. Alright, so I went and sent my scouts out. I accidentally didn't stop the simulation in time, so we simmed a couple games. We're four and five. Let's go back to slow sim this Vancouver Canucks game. And then after the Canucks game, we'll take a look at our goalie situation. And we'll see who's been playing and what not. Yeah, we'll send my HL. So we'll go first period. Two to one for the Canucks. Yikes. Patterson, Barbashev. So Crawford's in net. Let's go simulate the second period. Tie it 2-2. Two, two. Nice. Come on. Power play. 5-1-3, five, 5-1-4. One, Myers, gosh dang it. Oh my lord, Vince Dunn. So yeah, this was kind of a rough slow sim game. Was kind of hoping we'd get get a nice win here. Finish it off. Yep, and they threw an empty netter with Bo Horvat. That's not something you really like to see, but so let's take a look quickly at our goalie stats, and I think we might have to swap the goalies. Hughes leading the way with 12 points, nice. Uh, go goalies here. Blackwood, 2-1, and one. Crawford, 3-6, and six. so we'll give Blackwood the cage for a few weeks and we'll see how it goes. Ah, yeah, advanced instead of edit lines. Nope. Cause come closer to the deadline if we're not in a very, very good spot, we might as well look at moving guys like Subban or uh, Crawford. So we'll simulate up to 24th, give them a few weeks. So 0-3 to start. Ooh, that's a yikes. Now we get two wins there against Carolina and Philly. Someone's in third, fourth for my second. No thank you, guy. So we are having a rough go. So two, second, fourth, Helm, Paula, and the third. No thanks. Huh. Seven, twelve, and two, and we started off with three and all. They did just get a couple wins, so we'll give them two more games. Plus, the auto rotation's on, so they might put Crawford in. Now, let's take a look at what Blackwood has been doing for us. 
Ooh, Andres Janssen's leading the team in points. Kind of would like to see that be uh, Hughes or Hisher, but what can you do? Sorry, they put Buck Crawford in most of the games. Interesting. So we'll keep Blackwood. He's doing better, honestly. Let's take a quick look at these the stats. Everyone's a minus. Oh my. The only player that's not a minus is Jesper Bratt at zero. We'll simulate another month here. I think we'll probably start... We might just go up to the trade deadline, honestly. Because without the injuries, it's going a lot faster than I thought it would, but that's all fine and dandy. Pajo Lad for a second and Bowie, no thanks. Yeah, scouting, cool, thanks. Just keep scouting. We got two win streak there. Can we win against Anaheim? We do. We're back to 13, 13, and 4. But then, of course, we lose. And then we lose again, 6-1 to one in Arizona. 6-2 win against LA. It seems like whenever we get close to being 500 at 500, we go on a couple game losing skid. So Kevin Hayes, nope, not with that contract. I don't care what we're giving up. Helm and Armia, no, I'm not, I'm not interested. Philly, we win 4-1, lose to Boston 4-0. Fourth and a fifth for fourth and a fifth in Archibald. Like, why? Like, you're just giving me a free guy to drop down, probably. 16, 19, and four. Let's see, where is the trade deadline here? Yeah. Now, let's take a quick look at stats, and then we'll go right up to the deadline. So Janssen's back in the lead, 34 points in 39 games. Obviously, we'd like Jack Hughes to be there, but he's a few points behind, and Gusev Cahoon, for sure. Let's take a quick look and see uh, our ending contracts to see if we can get someone locked up. So we go all expiring. Jack Hughes, I forgot about Jack Hughes, all right. He wants 8.3 for four. That keeps him as an RFA though. So let's go give you eight for four. See if, he, will you take eight for four? Uh, Cahoon, he does not want an X. Holy shit. 7.575 for three years. Maybe we should look to move him. Subban, what do you want? 6.3 for three. I mean, it's not terrible. I'd rather like a one or two year deal if we bring back Subban. So let me know if you guys think we should bring back Subban. Because he's not bad. He's just not great. Will Butcher, 7.375 for five. And he wants more on a lower deal. Okay. Jesper Volquis. 1.475, yeah, that's solid for like a third, fourth line guy. That's a good contract. Uh, it's a door of trade for asset. Nope, I don't want that. So I think we might have to retool a bit. Maybe we can try and trade Cahoon and maybe Butcher. I like Butcher, but 7.5 mil for him. That just seems a little rough. He had 45 points, plus four. Does work well with Subban, kind of. What, what, what's Subban's stats looking like? 13 points in 39, 41, and 80. And then we got Coon over here, right? 29 points. He had 60 points for us last season. So He's on a bargain of a deal with that at 2.15, but is he an RFA? Because if he's an RFA, no, he's a UFA. Thought so. And then we got guys like Gusev. Nope, oh, that's main roster, sorry. All expiring. 
It's a door of Honka. Kukunen, I want Kukunen. Can't sign up yet. Cool. I'll have to remember to go into this after the trade deadline. And probably be able to re-sign some more people. So Crawford, 3.9 mil. He wants a little bit less. I don't know. Last season he was pretty solid for us. This season he's okay. Let's try and get a nice little sim up to the trade deadline here. See if we can get into a position where we can... Uh, Bokwis resigns. Nice. Jack Hughes resigns. Nice. I probably could have got Jack Hughes for a little bit less, but I wasn't too sure. Now, just hopefully he develops fairly well. Because I think he's already in 84, 85, so it's not terrible. Sorry, my phone was ringing. I had to check who it was just in case. And we're still battling to get to 500 here. A few games under and we're definitely looking like we're going to miss out on playoffs this season at this rate. Unless we can turn it around, but I'm just not too sure about it. I know I said we'd look at... I'm going to actually stop the simulation here. We're going to go ahead and edit our trade block real quick. And then simulate up to the trade deadline. I was just going editing our uh, trade block. And I just looked at this. Jake McCabe has insane trade value. I'm pretty sure that's glitch. I'm just kind of curious if that's just our trade value of him. Or if that's the games, like, I know it's glitched out and people have been complaining about it. I'm not necessarily going to accept any offer for Jake McCabe. I don't even know how he's doing for us. He's on. Is he not playing for us? Yeah, he didn't, hasn't played for us. That's kind of funny. Uh, whatever. I just kind of want to see what, like, how broken it is. Uh wants actually we want first and second round picks i don't care about the other picks that much and um, we'll do the same for future so i'm just gonna Go like this and try and see if we can get some little, some young forward with potential possibly. So we'll simulate up until the trade deadline, go over stats, and then we'll call it a quick video here. Andres Janssen still leading the team with points, 43. So we'll go up to the trade deadline, which is in 20 days here. So I'm kind of, like, I'm torn. Like, I think this team should be doing better, but I'm not too surprised that we're not doing much better. But... No, I don't want that. Like, I don't think we should be... Like, we're not terrible, it's just our division is pretty solid right now. So we're, like, bottom three in our division. So we're kind of boned for playoffs, in my opinion, for this season. Yeah, and we've lost three, four, five, six, seven of those, like, ten games. So I think we're unfortunately going to have to sell off some of those pending UFAs. Now, Nico Hischer, the captain, my captain. Uh, it's leading the team in points. So we'll take a look at that. And I'm kind of curious. Might do fine trade for some people. So you got Janssen at 50. Kuhn 48. Goose at 47. Hughes at 45. It just seems like we're having troubles keeping the puck out of our net. 
uh, goalie stats. That's what I wanted to look at. So again, they're playing Crawford more than what, like, I'm pretty sure I have Blackwood as the starting goalie. So I'm, I'm curious about the McCabe trade value being broken. Seeing, kind of want to see what they'll uh, send for offers. Oh, that's Ryan Murray. Crap. He's up here. <laughs> Let's see, a first in Schmidt, a first in Bach, and a second. Ponomare of second, two seconds in Ferrero. First, second, McKenzie. Okay, so Max Domi a second and Jenner. Okay, this is really broken. Maybe we should uh, take advantage of this. A first and a second, two seconds and Paul. Oh my. And especially we're not even playing uh, Jake McCabe. That's the, the kicker to it for me. I'm, I'm really curious about this deal. They both got one year left, so that cap would suck, but Max Domi fits none, of course. Boone Jenner fits in the PK. I'm just real curious with this. Let's see. Jake McCabe and say we added our second. What could we get? Domi in two seconds. No second, two seconds. Huh. So I'll take out the second again. Like, this is, this is crazy. Nick Paul, bottom six forward. Hmm. What is a Smith guy? Because I first sent him, that's interesting. Michael Schmidt, he was fifth round, top nine forward low. Oof, that's a yikes. All right, I think we're going to have to take advantage of Jake McCabe's trade value. I don't know what we're going to get. I don't know what we should go after. Take a quick look at our lines again. Hughes, Hisher, Palms, Gusev, Cahoon, Johnson. Maybe another forward, another center. Because yeah, he didn't fit with chemistry wise. And we go Butcher. All right, so we should definitely look to move Butcher and uh, Crawford, maybe Subban. I mean, Subban's not terrible. He is kind of a problem for uh, defensively, for uh, on like power plays and that. He just doesn't fit with our current coach. So if we could revamp our second pair, and then we'd have to revamp with Cahoon. And who else was it? Who else can play center up on our forward group besides our obvious centers? Nick Merkley, yeah, it's not really a second line center possibility. Maybe this Kukkonen guy comes out and has an insane offseason. Just comes like 83 overall. Maybe he could take over a Cahoon spot. Or even Bockwist. Because then I would like to bring in Nick Hol or not Nick Holtz, Alexander Holtz next season if we can. So 
So let's take a quick, quick, quick look and see. I, I just want to get rid of uh, Crawford, honestly. So we'll see what we can get from. I doubt it's much, but no trades found. Right, I'm just going to see if we can trade him for like another goalie. So I found this goalie on Ottawa that kind of looks interesting. Philip Gustafsson, starter medium potential, 80 overall. I just, I don't know. I just kind of feel interested in him. He is on the block. Added a fourth for Crawford. Maybe they'll do it. Maybe they won't. All right. So it looks like we got Gustafsson. Cool. Quickly throw. I think we'll probably just throw him in that backup role. Uh, let's take a look at our goalie system. So I might as well just keep him back up for now. It's on a two year two way deal. Actually, I don't even know if he's got another year left on his deal or not. No, he doesn't. But maybe we could re-sign him. Edit lines. Just have to throw him in the backup role. So like I said, Blackwood's our goalie going forward. Now we made that evident with trading Crawford away for him to get that starting position. So that's going to be it. We're going to look for next episode to look at moving Jake McCabe, Will Butcher, and possibly P.K. Subban, and uh, Dominic Cahoon. So we're going to have some spots to fill up for next season. But we're out of the playoffs so I like I just don't think we're gonna make it we're yeah we're wild card is 74 points our third place in our division 66 we're only down by nine but there's only 20 games left or 21 games for us and we haven't had a streak at any point in this season. So we're just going to call it an episode here. If you guys liked it, uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and you enjoyed the videos and want to see more videos in the future. Let, so uh, let me know Subban, Butcher, McCabe, and Cahoon. I don't think we can really afford to sign them. Maybe Butcher. Butcher's the only one that like I'm thinking about signing, but he just wants a lot of money. If we wanted five mil, I would sign him five years, five mil, whatever. But seven point five or whatever for him is a little steep in my opinion. I know the cap goes up a bit, so maybe we do be able to afford it. Uh, but yeah, I think Subban's gonna go. I'm not going to sign Cahoon. I don't think he's worth that much. Because he's not even our point leader at 51 points in 61 games. And he wants 7.5 mil. I know Hughes wants that, but he should develop into a high 80 overall player. So that's why we signed Hughes. But just let me know, guys, what you think. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.